from Dallas, it's Flash Friday. My advice to you, start drinking heavily. And now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program on this Flash Friday. Headlights on across North America. Men, turn your headlights on. Ladies, if you see someone with the headlights on, show them your knockers. We flash you. You flash us. If you see a nice pair of cans out there on the highway, call us. 1-800-5800-TOM. Let us know what you saw, where you saw it. If you've got a nice pair of cans and you can't see any headlights and you'd like to show them off, you can call us as well. 1-800-5800-866. Wide open telephones on this Flash Friday on the Tom Likas Show. Anything goes, anything at all. We can talk about anything that's on your mind. It could be anything we discussed on the air recently. Anything you think we should have talked about, you can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game as long as you're absolutely fascinating. If you're not, Dean J. D'Amelio kicks your ass off the telephone. It's that simple. Just call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Let's say hello here to Crystal on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Yes. Okay, so I have a comment about what you said about Shawnee O'Neal. Um, you said that you would never, ever let a woman handle your account. So- yes, and by, and by the way, I want to tell you I never have. In all the years, I've been married repeatedly, all the relationships, I have never allowed it and never would. Well, understandably, I mean, some women are retarded. Oh, no, that's not why. Well, then why? I mean... Because I don't want... Because because if a woman makes all the investments, she also has control over where the money goes, where it's hidden, where it's spent. Okay. Okay, I I don't want a woman having that control over me. Okay. I've been with my boyfriend now for almost four years. Um, We've lived together for almost three. Um, I handle all his money. I make... More money than him. So, I handle so all what? His uh-huh. why, are you, why are you telling me this? I handle all his finances, and trust me, that, um, well, he's better off with me handling his money. Well, than that says off. you. Huh? Says you. Oh, all women say says, that. It says me and says his bank account. Well, you don't know what it would be if you weren't handling it because you've been handling it. Well, I, I wasn't before. Yeah, but how old, how old was he then? 17? No. It's just been recently that I've been handling it because he's been kind of broke. And, um, really? I and uh, what does uh, what does uh, Junior do for a living there? He goes to school and he works at a telecommunication company. He goes to school studying what? Studying IT. He's I mean, studying he, IT at what, what university? I'm not going to say because he's probably listening. <laughs> is it a university or is it a oh, trade yeah, no, school? No, it's a university. It does so. That it doesn't have an eight hundred number. It's an actual college. Oh no, 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 no! It's not one of those stupid colleges that you see on TV and stuff like that. No, I mean, like I've been handling his money for maybe like a year now. But last year, he was like in a really, really, really bad condition, um, money wise. And you know, I help him out. Like we split everything evenly. I since I make more, I probably put out more. And I know. He's better off with me handling his money than he is ever. Well, I, again, I don't agree that any man is ever better off that way. I know that you're better off that way, but I don't believe that he no, is. because you know what? It's, I don't touch his money. Well, you don't touch it today. What if he broke up with you? I'm not going to touch it. That's his well, money. That, you say that now. What if he uh, has oh, sex no, with your best no, friend? No, no, trust me. Um, what if he has sex has- with your best friend? I still want to touch it, but that's his money, and yeah, I hope says he doesn't you. want to touch mine. Well, um, says okay. you. 
No, okay, we've had our tough times, and there there was a time while, not so long ago that we had, like, a tough time in our relationship, and I knew I knew everything. I knew his account. I know his investments. I know everything, and you didn't see me touch it. Why, by the way, not what investments time. What investments could he possibly have? Well, he has life insurance. I mean, like, he That's has... That's not an um, investment. Well, I mean, he has life insurance. He has... What does he um, need life insurance for? He started when he was young, right? When he Why does he need it? What does he need it for? For the future? For what future? What are you talking about? For his future when he... Or He's when not... somebody... Huh? Why does he need life insurance? So when he dies, his family is covered, whoever is on... He doesn't have a family. Well, in the future, and you know what? Well, I in the future, you it. in the future, he can buy life insurance. He doesn't need it now. Well, so he could no way if you start putting away right now. No, you see, and but there's I an example. That there's that an example of your handiwork right there. Choice. There is an example. By the way, you know, I don't. Yeah. I do not have. I do not have life insurance. And there's an example of your handiwork right there. Oh, no, if no, he I dies, no, no, I if he dies, who's the beneficiary? Who is the beneficiary? That on his own. He got who that on is his own. who is the beneficiary? And not me. Who? See? Not me. Who? His parents, his parents right now, and I never asked to be. I don't want to be. Mm. I frankly, I don't care because I know we're probably not going to get married, and that's okay with me. I don't want to get married. He wants. He wanted to get married. He wants to have kids. I don't want to get married. I don't want to have kids. I don't have to be in his life insurance. I'm just his girlfriend, helping him with his money. Mm. I don't touch it. What other investments does he have? Um, as for uh, his stocks, um, stocks. Well, he has, really, he, he owns stocks. A, he has a he has a pretty big bank account. How big is How pretty that? big? How big is that? Well, I'm sure it's not as big as yours. <laughs> I'm not. No. How big is it? Um, his brother died, and his uncle died, and he was the beneficiary on his uncle's. So he's life collecting insurance. everybody else's life insurance. Yes. Yeah, he collected from somebody else's life insurance. Um, right. he has about, I'd say, right now, maybe five hundred thousand dollars. How much? How much? He has five hundred thousand dollars, and how is that invested? I'm sorry. How is the five hundred thousand invested? Um, he put some of it in his um life insurance. Um, he put it in different stocks, um, property. I thought you were handling all this. Well, I well I did. But you see, he's not broke. He had five hundred thousand dollars, and you had nothing to do with it. Did you kill? Did you kill his relatives? Is that why he has more money in the bank now? Because you killed his relatives, and and then he was the beneficiary. He didn't. He didn't know how to split that. He didn't know where to put it. I mean, he doesn't know where. You just is. said he bought stocks. Well, yeah, but he didn't. Well, I kind of told him to. You told you him know, to buy stocks. Well, what stocks did you tell? Now I want to hear about this. You're 21 years old. What stocks did you tell him to buy? Well, um, he got the Apple stocks, um, just pretty basic stocks. Stupid, kind of. Well, like, what are the other? No, I'd like to hear the names. Go ahead. You, you're the investment counselor. I'd like to hear what you're investing. I don't. I, I kind of don't want to say because he's listening, and I don't. Dear, want... dear, we don't know who he is. You yeah, know how many people own knows. Apple stock? Millions of them. Come on, this is stupid. Um, he has stocks, and um, you see, he has some in Pfizer, which is not pretty good. He was the one that decided to put that. Um, he put some in Starbucks. Um. And the other ones, I'm not sure which ones. Those are the ones that he decided, but I know the ones that... Which ones I did you recommend? Them. Well, um, I put it in the Apple, and I put it... Um, I think that's the one that I chose, but the, just the Apple stock. Uh -huh. But other, other than that, it's him who chooses, and I mean, like, I just handle his money. He doesn't... I kind of give him an allowance of how You much give him an allowance? I do. Right. But he was not broke. What you told me before was not true. He was not broke. Two of his well, relatives no, died, and he collected money. He collected half a million dollars in life insurance benefits. But That's why he's got money in the bank, not because of you. Well, I helped him, and I'm not saying it. No, but you, you claimed earlier that he would be broke without you, and that's not true. Well, he would think he would have probably spent all that. But what did he spend it on? You? I don't know. No, not me. He, I don't ask him to buy me anything at all. So what would he spend it on? Um, on himself. On on what? 
stuff. Prostitutes, stuff. maybe. Oh. Uh, prostitutes. <laughs> All these other stupid so things. So your that. boyfriend uh, frequents prostitutes. Is that what you're telling me? Well, I'm sure he would have spent so that let's that money on stuff. Let's uh, review, dear. Let's review. You, you are... <laughs> You're with this guy who is a loser and helpless, and he would need you uh, to help him if he could. He couldn't put his pants on straight without you. Uh, he needs you as his investment counselor. Otherwise, he'd be broke. And this loser also, uh, if he had his way, would be going to see prostitutes while he's with you. And, and you're still in love with him, too, even though he would be spending his money on prostitutes. Is that right? Um, I wouldn't say in love. Uh -huh. And uh, so if he sees a prostitute once in a while, that's okay with you? Um, that's his business. I'm not going to marry him. So what kind of boyfriend is that who sees prostitutes and he's helpless? Um, is it, I mean, seeing a prostitute is not the same thing as sleeping with somebody that you already know. I mean... Well, oh, so someone. oh boy, I'd love to meet a woman like you. So let's review. It wouldn't be cheating if I have sex with people I already know. It's not that it's not cheating, it's... I mean, we're not married. It's not cheating if you're not But married. he's your boyfriend. What does that mean? What does that mean he's your boyfriend? He's somebody that, um... He's I somebody who... Married. He's one of the people that he... You're one of the people he has sex with. That be, that means he's your boyfriend? I guess that's it. <laughs> so everybody you have sex with is your boyfriend? Well, that's not my definition. I guess his definition is everybody that he sleeps with is his girlfriend. Mm. That sounds like true love. I'll tell you what, that's a great relationship there, dear. Uh, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sure people I'm sure people think I'm stupid for staying with him if he speaks with other women, but I'm sure people think well, I I'm sure people think you're stupid for any number of reasons. One eight hundred five eight hundred uh... My eight year old daughter's sitting here going, Come on! <laughs> He's going, I love Tom! <laughs> <laughs> Put your daughter on the phone. What's her name? Oh, hold on. Hi, Tom. Hi. What is your name? Jenna. Jenna. You're eight years old, Jenna? Yeah. So what is your mom doing over there? She's flashing her boobies. <laughs> she is? Yeah. What do you think about your mom doing that? I think she's wild. It's Flash Friday <laughs> on the Tom Likas Show. Tom like his show, Flash Friday, wide open telephones from Dallas at 1-800-5800-TOM. Julie on the Tom like his show, hello. Yes? Uh, well, given the girl who just called earlier, I can see where you might think women can't handle money, but there are those of us who can, and there are long-term relationships that work where women handle the money. Well, they work for the women for sure. And on top of that, most of the women who can handle money are generally fat or fugly. There are very few attractive women who know how to handle money. Uh, they know how to spend money. Uh, I would say that's untrue. Um, given a history of a very long-term relationship, my grandparents are 86. They've been married for 65 years. Look, uh, dear, even a broken clock is right twice a day, all, all right? Through. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. We we reported on the air a few weeks ago about the man who jumped out a 16-story window and lived. Uh, and that does occasionally happen. Uh, but I would not recommend that everybody listening go up to the 16th floor and jump out the window. Would you? No, but my mother also handles the finances. I'm good with stocks, 26 and not fugly. But besides, by the way, I'll be the judge of that, dear. But besides that... Uh, the fact is that even if you're good at your finances, uh, that's not good for the man. Because if the relationship doesn't work out, then you know where all the money is and he doesn't. Only if you keep him in the dark. Well, guess what? You can easily do that. See, do you think your lack of trust might be why your previous relationships didn't work? Darling, I had trust. The reason I have a lack of trust is because I once had trust. Do you understand? Yeah, but I think you're letting one bad or two bad things ruin a whole bunch Dear, of the point is, I don't, why would I need a woman to do my finances? Why would you want to have mistrust in relationships? That's against the whole that's, point. That's not the point. The point is, why would I want to have a woman handle my finances? Maybe she's good at it. Maybe you uh, don't but, want to but, bother But guess it. what? I'm good at it. And, and by the way, I'll tell you something else. I feel so strongly about this, that if I was too busy to be bothered, I'd hire a professional. Of, of a certified financial planner, uh, an accountant, uh, a stockbroker, I would have professionals handling it, not the woman I'm involved with. 
that's your your opinion. I know that at least. And, and by the way, it's not only my opinion; it's my advice to the men out there: do not let your woman handle your money. In my family, we've done it both ways, and the I really don't. I really don't care if you've done. I could if you came to me. If you were with me, and you told me that I wouldn't care at all what your grandmother did or your mother did. I couldn't care less. You would so not be handling my money. money. Knowing that you would lose money. I don't lose, lose money, dear. Way. I am a self-made multimillionaire. I do not lose money. By not gaining the extra that was made, that's losing money. Dear, I, I don't think you could make more than I do. I make more than my brother makes with a professional financial planner. How much do you make? In my stocks, my percentage gain last year was 15%. Yeah, well, guess what? Mine was over 15% last year. In fact, my highest paying mutual fund was 35% last year. And that's your total overall was 35%? Then. No, I didn't say that. I said my, my return was over 20%. Okay, over 20%. So that's yes. 5% difference. So if I had allowed you to handle my finances, I would be behind where I was. Well, my, my brother made 11%. I really don't care how you stack up against the others. You know what? I do very well, and I have for years. All I'm saying is that there are... So if, if you were with me, here is what I would say to you. I would say, handle your own money. Which I do. And I'll handle mine. I made the best man win. All right, but I think the lack of trust is just... A, it has nothing to do with lack of trust. I, I want to handle my own money. That's not what you said before. You said that the reason you would do it was because the woman would know where it was. She would take it from right. you. Right. If things, didn't, if things that. didn't, if things, if things, if things didn't work out. That's systematic of a lack of trust. It, well, guess what? When things don't work out, I, maybe you don't read the newspaper. You haven't seen what happens in divorces. You don't see how many people get divorced and how acrimonious they get and how My people hide money. My parents got divorced. My dad got he got more than half the money. My mom made more than him. He gets he gets alimony. Yeah, but but as you know, that's rare. It, it's, it's rare. rare. But it happens. If the woman makes well, more, it happens. Things, you know, guess what? Things happen. Some people have uh, 2010 vision. Some people jump out a 16-story window and live. I saw one member of Congress who won the lottery three times. I mean, these things happen. They just don't happen very often. I I think that if you expect things to go wrong, they will. And if you were well, that's you, again you wonderful little platitude. Won. You're the Norman Rockwell of callers here. But uh, the bottom line here is this: uh, the, the fact is that although you may be the most wonderful financial planner in the world, it, it is rare that a woman is that good at it. Women are generally good at spending money. That's women spend but the reason is i don't know. care i don't care i don't care i don't care what the reason is i don't care and when well, i am you're looking you're not going to teach your daughter to do stocks then you're not going to teach her well, to first, do i don't daughter. have children so that's irrelevant as it is and if no, you're a regular that's listener why the you women know don't know it's if they're not taught they don't know if i don't care what the reason them. is i don't care what the reason is i only care what the truth is the truth is that a woman is as good at finances as a man if she's been taught how to do but, it. But most of them not only haven't been taught, they don't want to learn. That's, that's false. That's blatantly false. No, no, it's not blatantly false. In fact, why do you think with Money Magazine, which is not exactly uh, the most complicated publication in the world, they put out an edition called Money for Women. Now... What is Money Magazine too complicated for the girls? I don't understand. They had to have if they if they weren't taught a separate children, edition maybe. for women. <laughs> if they weren't taught as children, then maybe it's all about how Again, you grew up and what you learn. Women, women want women. Women like to read magazines about spending money, buying shoes, buying handbags, buying clothing. They like to read about fashion. They yeah. like to read. They, that is what and women like to read. And even if you're not, and even if you are not one of them, even if you are not, I couldn't care less. Even if you're not one of them, that's how most women are. 70, 70% of all the money spent in America is spent by women. That's a fact. Women who are buying groceries and children's clothes for children. And, and all the crap they sell on daytime TV. All of it. Oh. 
show after show. Uh, So you're telling me that all these advertisers are pouring their money down a sinkhole, that Procter & Gamble and uh, all these companies, Unilever, uh, they spend all this money on daytime TV. They're wasting it because women don't buy all that stuff. I'm telling you that men buy just as many things. No, they don't. That's a fact. It's a fact. 70% of the money spent in this country is spent by women. That is why so many TV shows are aimed at women. That's why so much advertising is aimed at women, because women spend the money. They spend the money for the families as well, which ups that. I don't care what the reason is. They spend the money. On groceries, on clothes for children. Well, then why are there so many articles about women are not prepared for retirement? Women don't have any savings. Women don't know anything about investments. I don't care what the reason is, you idiot. I don't care what the reason is. I care about the fact. I care about the fact. No, I'm telling you, the fact is, for whatever reason, the fact. Okay, so then you're agreeing with me that women don't know about these things. Because they weren't taught as children. Some Fine. Women do, some I don't women care. Don't. What, but I don't care what the reason is. You, you just made my point for me. You just admitted that I because they're because do, some women don't. Most don't. If, if my 86-year-old grandmother can handle socks. She's the exception women. to the rule. Most 86-year-old women in America eat cat food for dinner. And you know it. Oh, God. That, that is insulting and atrocious and completely. Oh, really? Yes, but you see all these stories about Social Security and people can't make ends be on Social Security. Who do you think most of those people are? They're women. Uh, no, they're not. Oh, they're not? Well, the it's a fact that women live six years longer than men. Security, the people who what? are eating cat food are the ones who have gone senile, and that's very insulting. No, it's, it's not the ones who have gone senile, dear. It's not the one. Boy, now, now you are a real elitist. It's not the ones who have gone senile. It's the ones who did not save or invest or plan for the future. That's who it is. There's, there are other services to help the ones who haven't gone senile. I see. Yes. So uh, you're telling me that anybody who can't make ends be on Social Security, they can go and get free money from people. They can get food. They can get assistance with medicines. They do have it tough, but they don't eat well, cat food. I see. So then anybody who's got it tough is just stupid. They're just ignorant. I said they have it tough, but they don't eat cat food. Hang on a second, darling. Let me get uh, let me get Bruce on here. Uh, Bruce, what did you want to say to Julie? Oh, she hung up. Oh. Coward. Uh, Coward. Was, that, Go ahead. She, she, uh, she hung up. Go ahead, Bruce. Valuable waste of Flash Friday time. Unbelievable. You cannot train a woman to save. They don't save. It That's why advertising is aimed at women. All they do is spend. Spend everything and more than what they've got. Yes. You are right about that, Bruce. What can I say? Unbelievable. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is June on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, June. How's it going? Last Great. time I called, um, called into uh, the, the Playboy Mansion one. And uh, I, I got to say, it was the greatest uh, interview with uh, Hef I've heard. Like just the Thank back you. story on the magazine. <clears throat> but I want to ask uh, last time, I think you were in Spain. I remember you said you had some delicacy that they said uh, might, may not have been legal. Do you have any uh, crazy stuff like that? In- well, it wasn't duck, when I, and it wasn't Spain. It was Italy. I was in Italy. Tuscany. Oh, okay. And I went to a restaurant, and the, the chef, well, this was like a world class restaurant, mm. he served baby shrimp. Oh, that's right, yeah. As if shrimp weren't small enough. <laughs> After all, we call them shrimp. We had baby shrimp, and as it was being served to me, my host for for it was this it was a lunch. My host looks over to me and says, "I don't even think these are legal." But I I ate baby shrimp, and they were they were doused with uh, a nice dollop of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Where did you uh, the, enjoy this uh, this time around? I didn't eat anything that weird mm-hmm. this time around. Uh, I stuck to the basic uh, food groups in France, uh, baguettes, uh, foie gras, right. uh, Spanish ham. Um, I did have um, some grilled Spanish pork at a one-star Michelin restaurant that was just unbelievable. One star? By, by the way, remember, well, no, one star is good. It's you good? See, okay. 
uh, yes, there's one through three stars, and uh, if you most restaurants don't have any stars. I see. So having one star is very good. Mm. Two is even better, and three is the best. Top of the line, right. Yes. Um, I, I will say, remember I told you I had the $2,400 dinner in Tuscany? Right. I will tell you what my indulgence was this trip, a bottle of 1964 Lafitte Rothschild, which is a Bordeaux. Okay. God. 1964. How, you, how, is, how is that, like, stuff? Because the last time I had anywhere decent wine, it just tasted like fire and, like, gasoline. But that's How do you know it was good wine? That, they told me what it was. and like, Do you uh, know what it was? No was idea. It? it was in Vegas, and they it was just like a little thing. They, they told me to look at it and all that crazy stuff, and I was like, all right, whatever. Well, sometimes uh, people, when they have an incentive to sell you something, will tell you it's good, and it may not be good. That's uh, why I'm asking. Yeah, well, okay. it, was, it wasn't anything like that. It was like all... Like, a 1964 Bordeaux. <laughs> like, what does it taste? You know, is it just just great, or is it kind of like yeah, you have to get it, used to that kind of? Uh, well, first of all, you have to know what it's like to drink wine. You have to taste wine, so you know the good stuff from the bad stuff. Right. Most Americans' experience with wine is white Zinfandel or Chardonnay. Right, they yeah. don't really know anything Boons. about that. Yeah. But I drink a lot of red wine, a lot. Mm. And so when I have a Bordeaux like that. You can tell the difference from what you've been drinking. It's it's so amazing. Right. Nine, was it a $1,900 bottle? Uh, no, I, I didn't say the price. It was from the year 1964. Uh, oh, 1964, okay. Yes, it was, it was 43 years old. Nice. It was older than most of the women I've dated recently. <laughs> of course. You only date 20 year olds, right? <laughs> well, not, no, not only, but uh, certainly there's been over the years a preponderance of 20 year olds, yes. Right. So what was the most uh, expensive uh, meal you've had there? That was the most expensive meal, but the wine itself was uh, over $900 for the bottle. Wow. Yeah. Pretty crazy. It was okay. good. I always like to hear about your lucrative uh, trips and your wonderful adventures, Tom. Well, don't worry. I'll, I'll keep telling you because yeah, remember, because remember you, just never forget, you made it possible. <laughs> Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. My take on your listener base is that they are very subpar in the intelligence IQ department. Oh, and you know, it's, it's, really, it's got to be a problem to have low self-esteem the way you do. You really should not see yourself that way. I mean, uh, I'm sure you're much more intelligent than you give yourself credit for. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Dallas at 1 800 5 800 Tom. That is our telephone number. Got a, a great email from a listener named Mike in Van Nuys. Mike writes to it says, Hello, Tom. A few weeks ago, you were goofing on these morons who were waiting in line for an iPhone on its first day of release. I, too, laughed and pointed at those idiots waiting in line for hours and days. Here we are at the end of the summer, and what a surprise. The iPhone is going down in cost. Now these douchebags are whining and complaining that they had to pay too much. Of course you paid too much, you effing losers. That's what buying something the day it comes out means. That's the exchange. You purchase something the day it comes out at a premium in exchange for being able to say, I have the first one. What it really says to us normal people is, I'm a loser who is wasting money now so I can have a few minutes of attention at the office or at the bar on Friday night. I can't believe that Steve Jobs is going to give these morons a $100 rebate. Why? You mean to tell me they didn't know the price was going to go down by Christmas? They must have skipped the Sony PlayStation and Xbox chapters of the I'm a Dumbass Handbook. What do shareholders of Apple think of this rebate? If I own Apple stock, I'd be outraged that a company I invest in is handing my money back to every Dungeons and Dragons goober they couldn't wait a few months. Tom, why is it that America constantly rewards stupidity? I couldn't have said it better myself, Mike and Van Eyes. 1-800-5800-TOM 
is our telephone number. I should tell you, by the way, before I get uh, too further, too much further along, uh, Gary Zabransky did a little research here, and um, we were talking about women and how much money women spend and how much uh, women represent the uh, Social Security payouts and what have you. Women represent 58% of all Social Security beneficiaries, age 62 and older. And approximately 71% of all beneficiaries age 85 and older. That comes directly from Social Security's own website. You morons. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here comes uh, John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. How you doing, Tom? How are you? I'm doing great. Um, I don't know where to start other than I've been going out with this girl for about a month and a week now. I, I want to know how far we're going to get into the conversation before you're going to tell us you're from New York. I, <laughs> I am originally from New York, but I live I'm in L.A. now. shocked. Yeah, but you see, people from New York have to feel compelled to tell <laughs> everybody uh, they're from New York like we give a rat's ass where you're from. <laughs> I hear you, Tom. Hey, Tom, I need your help, though, please. Okay. I've been get, going out with this girl for about a month and a week now. Um, but who's I, counting? I spent uh, over. I spent, By the way, a month and a week. Are you one of those guys, honey? No, no. We've been together thirty-six days, fourteen no. hours, and twelve minutes, honey, and I love you more every second. <laughs> no, one I of really those. like this girl, but the the problem is, <clears throat> the problem is, I spent over sixty-five hundred bucks. She thinks. I, she thinks. I, and this is within a month. Ugh. I spent sixty-five hundred bucks every night, fancy restaurants, every night trying to impress her, trying to impress her. She sees the BMWs. She sees the cars. She doesn't know I'm in debt. She thinks I'm this multimillionaire. So a couple of days ago, her mother does an investigation on me and finds out, because I did lie to her about my age. I told her I was 30, but I'm really 35. So all of a sudden, she, she goes, she has a trust issue with me. Uh, you know, this is going to be on a trial basis. Us going out is going to be on a completely trial basis. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you, um, you know, you're going to have to earn earn your. Uh, I would have to regain your trust again. So, my my problem is, um, I really like the girl. I don't know what to do at this point because every night we go out, the bill is 150 to 250 dollars every single night. Whose fault is that? It, it's my fault, but. I, I feel like if I don't if I don't spend the money, you know that you know she might. How much do know, you I'm, make, Junior? I make I make decent money. I make I make a hundred plus. I make a hundred plus a year. You make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Yes, sir. All right, and that means that uh, what tax bracket are you in? About thirty three percent. Yes, sir. Okay, that means you take home about sixty seven thousand dollars a year. Correct. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so. You have a $6,400 bill for American Express for one month, correct? Yes, sir. <laughs> do you, do, let's do the math here for a second. What is 12 times 6,400? <laughs> I have no idea. You want to know? Yeah, please. Uh, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> that is $78,000. <laughs> I'm overextending myself, huh? <laughs> so you understand. Right. No, I can't. That by the way, that's just your American Express bill. Yes, sir. Right. That's just American Express. That's not including two car payments. One car payment is four. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait pal. Okay. You take home how much? Uh, what did you say it was? Uh, you said you uh, make a hundred thousand a year. Yeah, a hundred thousand thirty. So you take home sixty-seven thousand. Yes, sir. And you're spending how much per year? I'm Seventy-eight thousand on American dollars. Express. Right. So, all right. So that means you are spending eleven thousand more on. American Express than you make. Right, but I'm thinking if I can... And that means you'll be living in a car or in a cardboard box because, yeah, that doesn't include paying for a place to live. Yes, right. your car payment. Why do you have two car payments? Uh, I don't know. I got uh, I got two nice cars. I got the 650 BMW and I got How? the... Uh, you can't car? afford. You can't afford two nice cars. I know. I can't really afford it, but she thinks I'm this multi-millionaire. She's a... Right. She's a She's a struggling actress, but nevertheless, right. she's a beautiful woman. Um, well, you realize that, but now she knows you're fake. Well, that's, I don't think she knows that yet because I'm still taking her out. Her mother told you. Her mother, uh, yeah, her mother figured out my age, and all of a sudden, I'm getting uh, crazy phone calls from her mother, leave my daughter alone because uh, you're not the age that you told us she was. And her mother's been divorced three times, 
Now I'm getting these crazy. Now she's starting to have second. But pal, you me. are a fraud. <laughs> Hello. I. Uh, you're laughing. Oh, I'm not laughing. Was, that was not a joke. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm Tom. I love you to death. I, I just want uh, your honest uh, advice. I, oh no, you don't. <laughs> I'm just hoping people can learn from my mistakes, I guess, you know? I, I, I'm hoping you can learn from your mistakes, and I'm not convinced you can. Uh, wh what can I do now, though? Dump her. Dump her? Yes. I spent 67, 6500 bucks on her. <laughs> and, and you got value received, right? She uh, put out, I hope. No, she did. She put out. She did. All right. So how many times did you have sex with her? Uh, three. You had sex three or four times. Yeah, isn't that good? For $6,400? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to become a pimp because I tell you what, that, that's twenty. Uh, that's $2,100 a boff. Uh, I can get you the hottest chick in town for an evening for 1000 <laughs> I hear you. You hear what I'm telling you? How do I dump her, though? Do, do I burn my bridges with her or just, just dump her? You're, tell her you're not going to waste your time trying to build up uh, her trust in you. You're done. Thank you. That is a good advice. Thank you. And then get and then stop trying to impress women with money. I thought maybe she could, uh, you know, if I impress her with the money, a little bit of money, maybe she, she'll start seeing the real me. And maybe no, no, because, because she's not seeing the real you. She's seeing the fake you. Right. I see. She's seeing the part that wishes it made $500,000 a year. Yeah. Now she's bombarding me with, uh, um, I can't make my car, she can't make her car payment. Uh, of course she is, because that's what happens when you do that. I know. She started always complaining to me about how I can't make my car payment. I I'm what? about to lose my car. And well, it's not your problem, is it? No, I, I told her yesterday, I said, uh, I go, are you asking me for help? Because you're always bringing up financial issues. Are you asking me for help? She goes, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want, I don't, I don't need your help. I go, why do you keep bringing it up? Then? If you want my help, let me know. Like an idiot, I said that, but I'm not able to pay her bills. I can barely pay my bills. Why would you, why would you want to even think about it? Ah, you got to see the girl first. Pal, again. If I, the, the hottest women in America are prostitutes. <laughs> and prostitutes charge less than she does. Yeah, that's true. If you have to pay $6,400 a month to get laid, hire a pro. Uh, I hear you. I, 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 no, it, it's more my problem. It was more like. Yeah, it's your problem because you got no goddamn game. None. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. People who spend that kind of money on women don't have any game. Yeah, yeah. I was just trying to get her on the hook, you know what I mean? If I get her on the hook... But then what do you have on the hook? A gold digger. <laughs> she, she is a gold digger. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do gold diggers change? No. What you do with gold diggers is you hold money over their head like a carrot, you bang the crap out of them until they start demanding money, and then you kick them to the goddamn curb. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but do you spend that kind of money that I spend? Never. In, in the beginning? No? No. I see. Okay. Well, I, 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 may, I, I may let them see the money I have, but I never, I never spend it on them. I nail them, and then they never get a piece of the action. The Tom Likas Show.